Okay, everyone. Uh, this is day. F uh, let's see, 12, 13, 14, video nine, and I'm about to power this thing on. I got all the wires connected. Uh, the only thing I don't have connected is the output, but uh, I'm gonna turn it on here. If it blows up, I'm gonna film it. So here we go. Uh, show you this real quick. Got all the wires on there. I'll show you more later. But right now, I'm just gonna set this camera back here, like so, so that you all can see this. And I'm gonna turn this thing on. Okay, y'all ready? We are recording. It's probably a bad choice for that. That's okay. I'm just more concerned about this stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh power it off. Alright, here we go. Find the power cord. There it is. So I'm gonna plug it in. Nothing's touching. Everything's clear. Ready to go. There we go. No smoke. It was on, so we were live. See my power light? <laughs> Freaking awesome. All right, well, um, it's on. Nothing burned up. That's all I wanted to see. I don't have the 9 volts hooked up to this yet. Matter of fact, let's just do that real quick. Find out which one's positive and which one's negative. And uh, hook these up. So this one's positive. Go ahead and power it off. Power down. Okay, this one's positive. So like this. A little solder. Out of this bad boy on there. Alright. And the negative. I'm almost out of time here for the day. So I'm just trying to get this thing done enough to say it's done enough. Test a few signals real quick. All right. Go ahead and put a zip tie on here so nothing gets snagged. Okay, ready? Pow. Let's see if she lights up. Uh, oh, and I fixed my LEDs, by the way. So they're all the correct brightness now. How about that crap? Made a, made a knob. Relays work. We're good there. Okay, time to do some checking. Alright, well, uh, it does work. I'm going to turn it off. It didn't blow up. I'm so thankful right now. The only wires I got left are these. Um, and my heart's pounding. It really is, because uh, I'm out of time today to do this. I want to do a quick little check and make sure that the circuits are working. If the circuits are not working, that's not good. But, hey, it didn't blow up. Nothing smoked. <sighs> you have no idea. Alright, I'll be back. <sighs> I'm so excited. Uh, I just checked it. It seems that everything is working. Number two kind of has a small issue where the pulse width gets real small. 
Um, I might be a bad capacitor. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some looking. But it it still functions correctly. The only thing I have to do is tune in the, the high, the very high spot. I have to put a little resistor in line, uh, which is not a problem. But other than that, it works. Yes! I'm so excited. Now, I haven't checked the output, you know, with these power wires yet. I was only checking the signal wires. But, uh... There you go. I'll lay this back down, but the power's on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power off and uh, show you the back of this. There's the signal wires. There's the power wires. And again, I still have to connect all these power wires to this circuit board, and then they have to come off and connect to breakers uh, and then to these terminals. Now I took the capacitors off of this board. Um, because I just had a really hard time getting down in here and I just unsoldered them all and I'll solder them back on. Alright, uh, like I said, this is day 14. Yes, this is uh, Wednesday? No, this is Tuesday. I don't know. What day is it? No, it has to be Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And, uh, yes, day 14. Um, I'm relieved, and uh, I gotta finish this up, and I'll probably post a video tomorrow. Uh, so this will be on tomorrow's video, even though it's not that day. Okay, so this is uh, video eight, no video nine. I don't know. I'm really lost. See you guys. Okay, everyone, still day uh, 13, 14. Excuse me, day 14. Um, later in the evening, I was out of time earlier, and I got more time now somehow anyway um, here's what I got for you I wired the outputs that I told you I did not have hooked up earlier I've just got them sitting over here and uh, you can see I got these wires connected to them those are my meters and uh, they're gonna be a little hard to see all of them at once but maybe there you go so this is the first one. Um, looks like that's the second one. That's the third one up there on top, and here's the fourth one. So you can see the voltage is changing. What I'm doing is changing knob on four, and four is going up and down. Yeah. And I'm changing the knob on three. And three's up there, and three's going up and down. Okay. Uh, the same thing with two. Two is acting funny. Um, I need to figure out what's going on. The pulse width is changing oddly. It's not consistent, so I might have to fix that one yet. And then number one here with knob number one. Now, remember I told you these switches here connect these together. So now this knob runs all these. Um, without these basically do nothing. No voltage changes, um, as you can see. So I'm just going to use this one knob, and you can watch what happens to these voltages. They'll all go up at close to the same rate. Again, I'm doing that with one knob because I've internally tied these power supplies, just the control voltages together. All the way up to the top. Um, I had a problem. Um, I designed in the way... Uh, basically so I could turn this all the way up and it wouldn't max out because when it did it reversed polarity on these steer amps and it like was very bad so I calculated what resistors I need, well, I put them in there and each one of these is different I'm just like why so imagine that so what I had to do is put uh, I put variable resistors on the back here where the resistor is that I wanted to be for the highest point and then on these you can adjust the voltage just barely and so I adjusted the voltage on them just to get them just right and uh, so I adjusted everything the way I want and uh, looks like it's gonna work for now um, again these you can hear turn on those relays and that internally switches my power source um, okay I'm gonna leave you guys go and I'll record some more tomorrow but uh, 
I gotta figure out what's wrong with number two. The pulse width changes uh, when you get to a different pul um, different point. When it when it gets higher, uh, more voltage, the pulse width gets shorter. Now, I just need to think about that one because there's there's got to be a capacitor or something somewhere that's not um, correct. Everything's in the right spot. Double checked it. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, I'll leave you at that. This is the end of day 14. Tomorrow's day 15. And I hope, I hope to get this done. See you. I lied. Uh, I'm going to show you the way this pulse width changes so you can uh, see what I'm talking about here. So, basically, what's supposed to happen is. Uh, that's not a very good signal. Hold on. Okay. So what's supposed to happen here, when I turn this knob, the pulse width changes, but it always stays the same frequency. See that? So that's a good one. Now, if I attach this probe, if I can get it off here, if I attach this probe to the one I'm having problems with, okay, here's what happens. So the pulse width is good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, and then the frequency starts changing halfway through. Um, you can see it still functions okay, but it's really giving me problems. It's not, it's not outputting the same voltage as the rest of the meat, uh, the rest of them are. So I need to figure that out. But that's what I'm having problems with. All right, later. Hi, still the end of day. Uh... 14, guess what? I figured out what the problem was. I had a bad diode. Um, they're both the same number. It's a 1848. Um, so I don't know. But here's what I'm going to do. There they are. And there they're not. Ta da! Alright. I love smashing stuff. It's kind of boring though. I have to be quiet. Alright, see you tomorrow.